there's a fishing party upstream. And it seems everyone's invited. This heron is not waiting and tucks in, not waiting for starters. Hard to believe, but this sharp-toothed animal shares certain of its features with birds. Such as a muscular gizzard to crush food before it goes into the stomach. Crocodiles also make nests, but they're very different structures from the average bird's nest. Very few reptiles hunt and eat together, but crocodiles do. All's quiet as they wait for the main attraction. Between April and May each year, bream migrate upriver at Ndumu on the South African border with Mozambique. And the crocodiles line up in toothy welcome. Other fish fanciers know of this eating place and a great white egret keeps a sharp lookout for any little tidbits while not getting too close to the guest of honor. Some early arrivals. And the party gets started. With everyone jostling for the best spot. Even tiddlers are worth filtering, a light snack before the main course. A big snack for some. Maybe not the right dining companion for a marsh terrapin. But it's fish he wants. And he'll not be put off by anyone. No matter how big their teeth or mean their eyes. He'd better not look in there. Time to get out of here. A curve of crocodile tails creates a solid fish net. This is one animal for which sunbathing is good. It can't function without the sun and needs a daily dose to keep going. At last, the main course, big fat bream. This looks as hard as fishing in a barrel. When the bream migrate, there's usually plenty for everyone, and peace reigns. But a particularly juicy fat catch might spark envy. Wiser to go off to a quiet corner and eat alone. Crocodiles often swallow meals whole. An acid bath of digestive juices quickly liquidizes them. It's as powerful as car battery acid and can even dissolve bone. Whole or partially shredded, but never rotten, crocs like their food fresh. 
And with a big burp, the party's over.